everything we want. He's already agreed. They shut her up by locking her up. Who? George W. Bush, the compassionate conservative who later wanted endless wars. We'll go to that video for a few minutes and I'll be back. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Say that again. You, I want to be sure I heard you right. I thought I heard you say you contacted every House member in every U.S. Senator's office to do what? Uh, I, I contacted them, uh, pounding them with messages as to why the war would be a disaster. And you told them that everything could be accomplished without war peacefully and all our demands could be met? Yes. And you had that from who in the Iraqi government? Saddam and Sam? Is Zulfer? Yes. I mean, we had this from the top, the top, the top of the government. So you we talked, you talked, Najee, you talked, we talked to the, we talked to the, we, the, we had, I, I, see that we got it, we, we got, we're going to have to, this is like the second conversation. Let's have this conversation. Well, no, I just, I, I just want to be sure I understood what you just said. You, you're, you're right. You just got it right. You just said it right. And then after you contacted John McCain. I wanted to testify, uh, George Bush had uh, just announced that he was going to have a blue ribbon presidential commission to investigate the failures of pre-war intelligence. And I, uh, I did two things. I contacted the offices of Senator John McCain and Trent Lott, and I told them I wanted to testify. Okay. And at the new, at the new commission, which John McCain was part of the leadership of that commission. And I also went to every member of Congress using my blast facts and email system that I had created, and I contacted every chief of staff, every legislative director, every press secretary in the House and the Senate, in the Democrats and the Republicans, and I sent a blast fax to every office telling them, um, giving them the, what, what, what we will, are here described as the Andy Card letters, showing them that the peace was always possible and, and saying, don't even think of blaming the intelligence community for this, because we did a great job. You idiots did this war to this country. You're the ones who need to take responsibility for this. And they turned around, and within 30 days, I was under indictment. Wow. <laughs> what was, do you remember the last... Well, you can, and this is just the beginning of my book. 